when you start out life at Cass, we can see a picture of you that Mez has nicely provided. <laughs> Matty Merrick, has it? Is. Oh, he's got some bad photos as some, well. It is a bit, of a, a bit of a look back on, on your early days. Right, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. <laughs> what do you remember about the club then to the club now? And, and what do you put the, the good times down to? Is it a Pauli thing or is it other people you think need a high five? Um, through the years, obviously, when I first signed... Uh, You've coach. seen it all. You've seen yeah, it I've all. seen it all. The, the coach at the time was Terry Matson. Uh, Andy A was the assistant coach, and we had one physio and uh, one one conditioner that run pretty much the full club nearly. Um, so from from Terry Matson to Pauli now, there's been a massive change. Like on dinner, we'd just go to cafe and just get a full English breakfast and, <laughs> and stuff on dinner. So that that slowly changed when Ian Millward come in. Uh, we started getting food put on for us then. They were adding more backroom staff. The facilities were changing. We we're training at better facilities, facilities elsewhere. We've got a new gym now, which was um, which was bought from when we got to the uh, Challenge Cup final in 2014. So that was invested back into the club. Yeah. Um, and uh, everything now has just become a lot more professional as the game has in, in probably the past eight, eight or nine years. And um, it's been massive changes. And you can see that we were round about bottom teams and. You know we're a consistent top four team now for the last three years, and that's mainly due to you know Pauli coming in and really took over from us at a bad point when uh, Ian Millward was involved there. Like we had didn't have a squad big enough to cope with, with Super League, so that was probably a good thing for the likes of me and Adam Milner and Nathan Massey at that time. Because yeah. as soon as there were a few injuries, we were straight into play because there were nobody else really.